Guess what? You know I posted about my new Epiphone Sphinxter, Sphinxter guitar. I find it very hard not to say Sphinxter for some reason when I say Sphinxter. Um, you know I got it for my birthday last week when I found some issues with it and it had to go back. And I literally have received it back, uh, a, new, a replacement from GAC, guitar amp and keyboard centre if you know them they're a big company here in the UK um, and I'm about to open this box here it is I'm a bit, ner a bit nervous about opening this up I'm really hoping there isn't a problem with it oh. okay here we go right I'll find a knife. Here we go. I've got a knife. See, I've got my case ready that I bought for the Sphinxster. Said it right then. Right. Try and get the tape off. This is really annoying when you. This is the first guitar I bought on mail order, and I was nervous anyway about it because I thought it, I was going to end up having a problem and self-fulfilling prophecy, it happened. Right, let's see. Oh, hang on, I'm going to put you down back in a minute. Right, probably going to get disturbed by my daughter because she's upstairs somewhere, but we will do our best. Right, okay, I'm opening the box. I'm really nervous about this. I really hope this is okay. Right. Another set of leaflets and stickers. It's already on my case that I got really excited about and stuck them all over my new case. Right. Let's get this open. Another box, same box as last time. Well, it's well packaged, I'll give it that. I'm going to keep the packaging just in case. Feeling very cynical. There's the headstock. <gasps> <laughs> so it's packaged a lot better than last time. Right. Okay. That's the top strings. Bash it. A little toggle cover. Right. There it is. Look at that beauty. Right, I'm just going to check the binding because the problem I had last time was the binding was knackered on the neck and it was coming away from the neck. So I'm going to look at that straight away. Yeah, no, no problems there. Um, okay, the F holes. Don't seem to be as glued up. I mean, they're not perfect, but I can live with those. No, we're all good. We're all good, really. Just check the back. It's a bit dusty. I don't know. We're not going to complain about that. Oh, yes, I think we're good. I do think we're good. I think I need to tune it. Back in a minute.
lovely. It looks good. It's sounding good. Um, <laughs> top end and a woody bottom end on it um, great for my more strummy songs that I do in my set <laughs> Treble tip. Oh, you get the idea anyway. Okay, I'm very terrible at remembering lyrics. So yeah, brilliant. I just want to say thank you to the Guitar Amp and Keyboard Centre in Brighton um, for sorting this out. Literally, from Tuesday when it was picked up, it is now Thursday lunchtime. So they've turned this around in three days to um, replace my swingster. Um, I'm I'm really really pleased um, at the customer service that they've provided, and um, I will um, put a link to this guitar on their website, so you can go straight to their website if you want to find out more. But so this has been the Epiphone Emperor Swingster um, in royal blue, and I'll put a proper review out of it shortly. Now that I've got one, I can really get my teeth stuck into. So thanks for listening and bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.